Let's start by opening the game browser and selecting locations, where we can see a list of all locations in this map. From here we create a new location and from the list of options we select hex map. In this panel we have all the parameters to create the map. You can change the size all the way to size 12, which has over 600 hexes. You can change the biome, starting from temperate all the way down to frozen. There are some exotic ones such as tainted and wasteland and of course desert and jungle. Adjust the level of vegetation in the map to create barren landscapes or places teeming with trees and forests. Change the elevation to create maps with mountains or plains and adjust the water level to create maps with lakes, coastlines and so on. Once you set all these parameters, you can reroll the map as many times as you want until you find the perfect version of where you want to play. Next, you can instruct the Ogre to procedurally generate settlements and dungeons in the map you just made, each one full of details, characters and quest hooks for you to explore. Once finished, the hex map is added to your list of locations, where you can drag and drop it in any other map, creating an interconnected world as you play. Everything in the hex map is customizable. You can drag settlements and dungeons to new locations. You can open them and see the characters and details that they contain. Finally, drag your character over to the map and start playing. You can expand the map with more hexes, add new locations, foes and much more. If you want to know more about the Ogre, go to ogrebtt.com where you will find an overview of all the features or to the Ogre's YouTube channel for more videos like this one.